Okay, welcome back to another episode of Entrepreneur in a Car, where I'm telling the story of my software company and my time in it and the, all the things that have happened. Today, I'm going to talk about the company culture, how we are as a company. I'm going to talk about, you know, my role in the company, what I do and how that's changed over the years, how I brought on a CEO for a while to manage the company and how I eventually came back and let him go. I'll talk about those things. So let me just get started. Like for me, like my role in the company right now, I'm kind of like now where I am at, it's very different than where I was years ago when I when I got started. Now I'm kind of, I just check in on things every once in a while. I don't go into the office all that often, um, but I just check and monitor kind of what's going on on our, on our internal messaging platform. Um, but I do step in, come back when I see a need for big things to, to change, to improve. We've got a number of things that I'm coming back to the team with uh, that I want to see changed in, in the coming months to help make things better for our existing customers and to help make things better for prospective customers. So, so those are the things that get me jazzed up where I see like a problem you know, quote unquote problem that I want to solve. And that kind of puts my engineering skills to, to use. And I come in and I'm like, Hey, we're going to do X, Y, Z. Here's the, here's the deadline. Here are the priorities. Let's get this thing done. It's very different than when, when I started the company. I mean, when on, on the first day, you know, it was basically just me. I, I had a little bit of part-time help from my girlfriend, but it was basically just me to do all the development, all the support, all the marketing, all the sales, all the accounting, all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, I was, I had my hands in a lot of different things. And over the years, as I hired people, I was able to let go of certain roles and responsibilities. Like I hired salespeople right away so that I could focus on development primarily. And I still have to do the accounting and all that stuff, but I, I wanted to offload sales first and then support and then development. And then I eventually hired somebody to do accounting and front desk and all that kind of stuff. So I was able to step back from those d different roles, but for, you know, at the beginning, man, it was, I was having to do everything. And that's, that's one of the things like when you, when you start something and it's just you and you don't have the money to hire people right away, you have to do all those things yourself. And so I, I completely understand the struggle and, and, and the path that you have to take to go from zero to hero, right? To go from one person to many, it's not, not an easy path to take. Um, but it's an enjoyable one. It was a really enjoyable one. And I really like my role right now and the position that I have. Um, it's most of the time, like I don't go into the office very often unless I need to. So it's, it's, I'm able to kind of step back and I'm kind of semi-retired in a way. Um, not fully retired, but semi-retired and, and that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I, a couple of years ago, I had wanted to move out of state and step back from company operations because I was getting kind of overwhelmed with the stuff that I was having to do. So I hired a CEO. This is back in 2019, end of 2019. And I brought him on board and it was right before COVID hit, man, that kind of hit us all, you know, out of the blue. We were prior to COVID, we were all working in the office 100% of the time. And then we switched to 100% work from home when COVID came along. We've switched back now to like a hybrid policy. But uh, that was a pretty big transition when, when COVID came along. Kind of like like for a lot of people, it, it you know upset the apple cart, so to speak. Um, but anyway, so the CEO, he did a, 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 a nice job on a lot of things. And I have to give him credit for a lot of things. However, uh, one of the big things that uh, he, I don't think, really understood the value of at least in the same way that I did was company culture. And I saw the company culture going downhill. And I just thought to myself, I'm like, if I don't step in and do something and change something, company culture is gonna go downhill in 10 years from now, I'm really gonna regret it. So I made the decision in 2021 and 2021 to come back and and kind of redo things and kind of fix things with the company culture and then take them to the next level uh, to keep everything copacetic. Like I, I would, I, I want to have a company that um, I can always look back on and smile about and think fondly about the people and the things that we did and just, just know that we, we made the best of it.
we do some really cool things with the company culture. First, like we have an awesome, awesome office space. I'll, I'll take you guys on a tour of the office or a little, at least portions of it. And I'll show you some of the, the spaces that we have. Um, but we've got, you know, we do things with a company that, that not a whole lot of companies do. We, we, we started out in our early days just doing team lunch like once a week. We bring in like pizza once a week for everybody. But now we switched over in the past like two years or so to lunch every day of the week, Monday through Friday. So we bring in something, whether it's Chipotle or pizza or something else, we bring that in for our staff. And I think that's pretty cool. I've always wanted that, something like that. I always figured, well, if the company got really big one day, we'd have our own cafeteria, but we're not that big yet. But, uh, so we do, you know, we do uh, delivery, um, on things, but it's pretty cool. Something we do. We also send each of our teams, like the support team, the sales team, the development team, et cetera, out to lunch once a month to some place where they want to go. And that, uh, you know, I wanted that because I, I felt like that built better team cohesion like it brought the support team together, it brought the sales team together more tightly when when they sit around and have a meal together. And I learned that, you know, from an early job I had in my early 20s, where we had a, a I was at the place I was at, we had weekly uh, offsite team meetings at like a bar, restaurant place. And I always liked that. And, and that always stuck with me. And I wanted to to kind of use that as almost like a template for what we could do with our company. So we do that once a month. We celebrate anniversaries, work anniversaries with cupcakes every month. So everybody gets cupcakes. And every single month, our video team puts together a monthly recap, high energy, cool vibe, a monthly recap of the things that, that we've done and things that have happened in the company during the past month. And our video team, like a lot of their focus is on internal video projects like that to just help with company culture and just getting everybody to be a very cohesive team, very upbeat team. So that's something pretty cool. And then we go on like boating trips and golf outings and all that kind of stuff as part of our company culture. So I wanted a company culture that was cool, a company culture that people could look at and go, this is a pretty awesome company. I've never worked any place like this before. And this is an awesome, awesome template. So if you ever start your own company, I know on day one when you started, um, you can't do a whole lot. But with your first employee, like that's where you that's where you start to you can build the company culture that you want with employee number one, and and start to do cool things. So whatever kind of company you want, man, start to build it right away with your first employee and build that company culture that is so so key, so key for us. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Uh, I talked about culture. I talked about the CEO. I talked about what I do. Yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, I I guess some of the new projects that I'm going to be talking about with the team is we're going to make an effort to next year, 2024, is the 25 year anniversary of my company and I guess its origins. Um, so we're going to be doing some special things, but I'm putting some things into place that will basically revamp kind of what it is that we're doing and how we're doing it. Uh, a lot of that relates to video content that we're producing on YouTube for our customers, very technical videos. Uh, and some videos for our, uh, you know, non-technical uh, uh, customers as well. So we want to put that together. We want to uh, <clears throat> kind of revitalize and reinvent the way that we communicate with customers and the value that we provide them through our different messaging platforms and just the information that we can give them. So it's kind of exciting to me. I think it could have a real positive impact on the future. Like I said, things like this are, are interesting to me when I, when I get involved with marketing or the tech stuff and I go, man, this is really cool. I put my engineering hat on and I figure out like how we could potentially solve a problem. And that's, that's, um, that's kind of what my goal is. So anyway, that's it for this episode. I will do other episodes, probably in other stuff. But uh, we've gotten to a pretty good point now where I've kind of given you an update. I think probably one of the things that I'll do, maybe as the next video, is I will do a video where I take you through the office space and just show you what it's like. Uh, so you get an idea of the space itself. It's pretty cool. I might need to split it up into a couple of videos, but um, just 
for length. I don't, I don't do editing. So, um, you know, it's like, I don't want to walk around the whole office and, and leave a bunch of dead space. I guess, I guess I could talk about stuff as I'm walking around. Why don't I do that? I'll plan on doing that. Um, and just do the best I can to, to, to kind of guide you guys through our office space. We'll do that as the next video. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a happy Saturday. Bye.